she is here the queen the sinusoir of all eyes we have the russian sukhoi 57 here we have the american f35 yet this is one particular platform this is one particular model that people have come to see in all like the eagerness and especially because one billion dreams are riding on these flying machine this is the mk the advanced medium combat aircraft one which we had been planning for quite some time and we wanted to speak to the men who's handling this entire project dr uh, krishna rajender neeli so uh, i'd like to ask him certain things i mean what is it that separates a fifth generation fighter from the earlier generation ones fifth generation fighter is a stealth aircraft essentially stealth as you know it should not be detected by the enemy radar or any radar okay so in order to not to be detected this aircraft by the enemy radar particularly so the shaping is entirely different it doesn't look like a conventional aircraft uh, shaping which generally you see in four or four and a half generation uh, aircraft where the sharp edges and all you will not be able to see this particular aircraft entirely is designed to give a low radar cross section signature right. so this is the very key of this particular uh, aircraft uh, design so from what i understand is uh, one thing is the shape of the aircraft yes which is designed to evade radars yes and secondly is the metallurgy behind it which is also before, key before that uh, metallurgy one is on the shaping the shaping itself is one major uh, thing the second aspect is that some of the key features like the intake when, when you see it it is called the diverterless supersonic intake where the engine face will not be visible see any of the four four and half generation intake when you stand there you can be able to see the engine face right. here inside the serpentine duct is there because of that you will not be able to see the engine face from the basic so the, that's the, these are all from the plan form point of view when we configure the aircraft this is how it it has been designed this alone will not be able to give you the the required signature in order to reduce the signature we need to use some sort of a stealth materials which we call it that we have indigenously designed it so we have identified which are all the zones where this stealth materials have to be applied and we have mastered in that the technology readiness levels of this indigenous development of this material is very high we have already fabricated some of the components and then tested it also which is meeting our design requirements that is where in the last i would say 6 to 7 years various drdo labs csir labs and ada have worked together and developed these materials indigenous right and also uh, where would the engines be i understand it's a twin engine it's a yes. single seater twin engine yes. so where would the engines be and where would the internal bay of the weapons be see uh, engines are there in the rear rear of the aircraft where you can be able to see that as you yeah, as you can see that the weapons that we have kept it there yeah. below the this see that is where the internal weapon bay is there bottom of the aircraft is very flat so that the internal weapon bay all the weapons that are displayed here and combination of the various other weapons we can be able to place it inside the this thing and use it in the combat right okay and uh, is it all right to say that it's at the develop you know at a developmental stage now yes see as you, all of you know the government of india has given us the sanction for the full scale engineering development in april 2024 the full fledged development activities have been initiated so far we were there in the design phase of the uh, aircraft where we were able to bring in all the futures and then the test it the design has been finalized full fledge development has been initiated after we got the approval in the april end okay and so the the most important question now what are the timelines see when we have got the approval we have promised to the government that in next 4 years we will be rolling out that means towards end of the 2028 we will be flying this aircraft by end of the 2027 we will roll out this aircraft and by 2034 that means the 10 years of the development period we will certify this aircraft and make it the production ready and uh, so this is this will also mean bringing in some sort of asymmetry some semblance of asymmetry to the southern to the south asian geography because uh, we have seen in recent times that uh, well uh, you know stealth fighters fifth generation fighters have come up and in fact the sixth generation fighter has also been unveiled so uh, after this do we have 
uh, plans for a sixth generation also, possibly in the sense of uh, Amka, you know, Mark One or what? See, Amka. See, right now, what you are displaying it here, what we have shown here to the nation, we wanted to say that India is not far away from the fifth generation, but. Together with the fifth generation, we are developing the AI technologies, which will make this aircraft as a five and five plus generation aircraft. As far as the sixth generation is concerned, essentially it is meant for the, you know, unmanned kind of thing. Yes. And this particular aircraft, the AI tools, what we are developing, it can be used as an optionally manned. So, sixth generation certainly yes, it it, it will be there. Yeah, some of the key features of the sixth generation will come here. Achha, okay, that is a very important point that you have yes. So it all means that we have a uh, yeah, lot to I look for I, in the But I, I, I don't say that it, it's a sixth Absolutely. generation, but the futures of this finally, yes. without the, uh, you know, it can be operated as a unmanned version. Mm-hmm. Optionally manned, I will I would put it. Instead of unmanned, optionally manned, I will put it with all the AI technologies, which can be able to use it. And so and technologically, yes. no, one thing I wanted to convey here is that technologically we are not far behind. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. And, and as far as this entire bird is concerned, yeah. what is the most significant feature that we have indigenously developed? In fact, entire thing is indigenously developed. Here Except not, for the aero engines. Ex- one minute. See, as far as the design is concerned, it is 100% indigenous. Okay. The import contents, if you see, our dependency is there only for the engines and then the ejection seat. And during the prototype phase, maybe some of the critical uh, like our generators and all, we might import it, but parallel indigenous development is already on. We are very confident that by the time this uh, gets ready for the production, our indigenous levels will be very high. And as you know, the 414 engine that we are using it here, and uh, the India and then US have an agreement with the GE to uh, productionize those engines in uh, India. If that comes, then uh, uh, you know, the import content or the dependency on the foreign soil for the equipment for this aircraft will be very, very minimal. Okay, so last last little question that I have, it's a it's a hypothetical question. If we get the G414, F414 now, today, how long will it take to actually roll this aircraft out? See, 414 engines, as far as the prototypes are concerned, we are already getting it. That is not a problem. For rollout, to make this aircraft to the rollout, we don't have any constraint today. We can be able to, once if the airframe made it, maybe in another two, two, and, two and a half years period, we will roll out. There is no constraint at all. The manufacturing in, in India of the 414 engines, I was referring to the from the production of the yes. aircraft. Yes. Is